Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's all doing well. I just got done watching the Florian Marku versus Maxim Prodan fight. Florian Marku wins by a split decision. Uh, one judge had it 99 to 91. I think one judge had it 97, 93 for Marku. And the other judge had it 96, 94 for Marku. So Marku, you know, pulls out the win by split decision. Uh, in the pre-fight video, I picked Marku to win either by a second half of the fight stoppage, a late stoppage, or a points victory. I think I underestimated Prodan's toughness. I hadn't seen uh, too many fights of Prodan's. From what I saw from him, he looked pretty limited. You know, pretty basic pressure fighter, which he was. But I didn't uh, realize how durable he was because, you know, he was extremely game, extremely fit and durable. Uh, you know, he was uh, applying pressure for uh, 10 rounds, all 10 rounds. But for my money, most, most of his uh, pressure was uh, rather ineffective. He couldn't seem to cut the cut the ring off on Marku. Majority of the fight, I think he was just following Marku around the ring, and Marku was controlling the fight behind his jab, as we expected in the pre-fight video, doubling and tripling up the jab. He really uh, showcased his jab once again in this fight. Uh, Marku has pretty much a world-class jab, and um, yeah, he controlled where the fight took place. I feel like he won most rounds, although, like I, I'll admit, I wasn't scoring the fight round by round because I was eating supper. And I also didn't realize how soon the fights were starting. So once I saw the fight starting, uh, you know, I quickly just um, turned the TV on and started watching the fight. So I did catch it from the first round. I didn't miss any of the fight, but I didn't have time to... Because uh, I was going to think about doing a live stream for the fight, but I didn't have time to go live because the fight was already starting. So I just started watching the fight. I feel like Marco did enough to get the victory in this fight. I don't know what the one judge was uh, watching, scoring at 99 to 91, giving nine rounds to Prodan and only one round to Marku. When I feel like Marku's jab, you know, was pretty dominant throughout the whole fight. Um, Prodan, you know, like I say, he was game, he was tough, but for me, uh, he didn't use his jab enough. He didn't go to the body enough, and uh, uh, Marku was just able to pick him off, uh, you know, throughout the fight with a jab. Uh, landing power shots, uh, straight power shots when he wanted to. He, for, for me, he was landing the cleaner, more effective, and more consistent work as well. I'll say this, uh, Prodan did hit Florian with a good left hook, I think around the seventh round. Uh, it looked like uh, Florian felt that shot, but other than that, uh, Florian was in control most of the fight. I think Florian showed some pretty good head movement and defense in this fight, but I'll say this, when he steps up in the levels, I think he's a little bit too overconfident and he has his hands down a lot during the fight, which I think could uh, you know, could catch up to him as he steps up in the levels. I think he'll have to be a little bit more defensively responsible because I feel like he was overconfident in this fight against Prodan and you know he almost got hurt at one point in the fight, but as he steps up in levels, I don't think he's going to be able to get away with keeping his hands down, pulling back in straight lines. However, I will say I think he has pretty good eyes because he sees all the shots coming He's very calm in there. I think due to his kickboxing and MMA background, he's very calm when he's in the you know midst of a firefight. Very calm in there. Even when uh, Prodan had him on the ropes, which was for very few moments in the fight, I feel like Marco was extremely comfortable on the ropes and was uh, able to you know see most of the shots coming, catch and counter most of the shots, you know pick off the shots on his gloves, counter with short little uppercuts and hooks on the inside as well, and. Um, but like I said, I think he's a little bit overconfident because he stands, uh, Mark is very straight up when when he's standing uh, in the pocket, even on the inside with his opponents, he stands straight up. So his body is um, not really, uh, should I say, hidden. And also you can catch him with hooks up you know, in the side of the head and stuff and overhand shots. Although, like I say, he got very good eyes. He sees a lot of those shots coming and he can catch most of those shots on the gloves and then he counters with you know, beautiful little uppercuts and stuff on the inside. But um, as he steps up in levels, I think he's going to have to be a little bit more defensively responsible and not overconfident because I think in this fight he was pretty overconfident. But um, also it seemed like Marco was maybe struggling a little bit with the pace. I'm not sure because he struggled to make weight. Maybe that had an effect on that. But also Prodan, like I say, he was fit, tough, durable, um, applied pressure for 10 rounds. But most of it, for my money, was ineffective pressure. I thought Marco did by far the uh, more you know, effective and eye-catching uh, work in there with the straight shots. A lot of, I mean, he he landed jabs at will throughout the whole fight. Like I say, Mark has got a world-class jab from both the orthodox and southpaw stance. He was switching stances as he always does. 
and you know that was giving Maxim Prodan a lot of trouble. He was jabbing up and downstairs. He jabbed to the body through, um, you know, right hand over the top. So he was setting up things in there. And I think I feel like uh, Marku, just the more versatile, more skilled boxer. Uh, as I said in the pre-fight video, uh, he showed that in the ring tonight against Prodan. But yeah, it was a good, pretty, pretty good scrap. Uh, Marku is always involved in entertaining fights, and I think. Prodan as well has a very uh, fan-friendly style, being a pressure fighter with not great defense. Um, yeah, so that's how I saw the fight, guys. I think uh, Florian Marco should have won the fight on a unanimous decision. Not sure what the first judge was really watching. Um, but yeah, I feel like Marco boxed pretty well, put on pretty uh, a pretty well-balanced performance. You know, showed off some good defense, showed off, uh, you know, really show showcased his jab in there. Boxed well, showed a lot of good lateral movement. And for my money, you know, won most of the rounds. I didn't score it round by round, but I do have the gen uh, general feel on who won the fight just from watching it. And I feel like Mark, who definitely did enough to win this fight, uh, pretty good performance. Uh, who would you guys like to see Mark in the next when he takes another step up fight? Because this guy was a lot more experienced than Mark in terms of boxing experience. Um, but yeah, Mark dealt with it well and, you know, outboxed him for 10 rounds. Uh, who would you guys like to see Florian Marku step up against next when he has a step up fight? I know he wants a Conor Ben fight. I don't see that happening just yet, just due to the politics of boxing. But I mean, there's a lot of guys in the uh, welterweight division there for Florian Marku. I'd like to see him in there against guys like Adrian Broner. I don't think that'll happen either because Broner's more looking for you know one big payday, like he wants that 10 million. Uh, for him to have a return fight. I don't think they're going to pay that for him to get in there with Florian Marku. But whoever Florian Marku fights, I think it's going to be an entertaining scrap. And yeah, guys, that's how I saw the fight. thought Florian Marku did enough to get the win. Boxed pretty well. Uh, credit to Pro Danny. He was very durable. He didn't get um, uh, busted up as badly as I thought by uh, Florian's jab. And he was able to, you know, keep applying pressure for 10 rounds, even though most of it was ineffective pressure. That's how I saw the fight playing out, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you think Florian Marku deserved the victory? Or did you feel like Maxim Prodan uh, did enough to get the victory? I thought Marku did enough to get the victory. Let me know in the comment section below who you guys had winning this fight. Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys again soon. Cheers.